Under the previous order requiring 60 votes for the passage of this bill, the bill is passed. You can see the Senate finalizing the votes, and just like that, in the 11th hour, Congress escaped the effects of a government shutdown. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Sam Rogers. Now, this package passed through both the U.S. House and the Senate in just the last few hours, and it will temporarily fund the government. Maine's delegation is responding to the news tonight. Jordan Sartor Francis joins us live in studio to fill us in. Hey, Jordan. Good evening, Sam. New Senator Maine was able to get a word with independent Senator Angus King just moments after the Senate passed that short term bill averting a government shutdown. It passed with an 88 to 9 vote. Senator King described to us in detail the nerve wracking day on Capitol Hill it has been as the country looked on. The senator says it was a very intense few hours. Just this morning, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy came up with a new plan to avoid the shutdown. While King says this was good bipartisan work to get the deal done, he says it should have happened sooner. That was a big deal. Thousands of people in Maine and across the country would have been in, bad, in a bad place. Our troops wouldn't have gotten their paychecks. Uh, all of that has now been averted. Why does it always have to wait till the last minute? I'm afraid that's sort of human nature. Unfortunately, uh, we should be able to do these things on a timely manner. That was one of the frustrating things to me about this whole drama. It wasn't necessary. We could have taken care of this months ago. Well, there is good news tonight. King is hopeful lawmakers will get back to work soon and craft up aid packages to Ukraine and rectify border issues that continue to have an effect across the country and here in Maine. Now, other lawmakers from our state are weighing in on the shutdown of version tonight. Maine's Republican Senator Susan Collins says this is a victory for common sense. Quote, Government shutdowns actually cost taxpayers money by increasing the cost of short term borrowing by the government and have an adverse impact on the entire economy. Democratic Congressman Jared Golden actually backing Speaker McCarthy, saying he did the right thing, adding, quote, Congress now has 45 days to negotiate a long term plan, and I will continue working to support the budget deal that Congress agreed to earlier this summer. After the House passed this deal, Congresswoman Shelley Pingree took to social media to say, while this stopgap is by no means perfect, it was necessary to avoid the disastrous impact that a shutdown would have to our communities. Sam, President Biden also coming out tonight saying he will promptly sign this deal as soon as it gets to his desk. Again, this will fund the government through November 17th. All right, Jordan, thank you. A lot of good information there.